Oh hi, I'm the heretic. So if you live in Germany, or have family who lives in Germany, get out! Get out of there right now! What am I talking about? Well, the state uses stolen money to oppress people, dictating the narrative while criminalizing wrong think, all the while using that stolen money to fund Antifa to harass and intimidate people who fail to toe the party line. In an effort to avoid the authoritarianism of Nazism, where people were harassed, intimidated, and prosecuted for disagreeing with the state, Germany has embraced authoritarianism, harassing people, and intimidating them and prosecuting them. Doing great so far, Germany! But don't take my word for it. On April 6, 2016, German Gestapo, uh, I mean police, raided 10 apartments and arrested 9 people for being critical of the Islamic invasion of their country, even justifying the raids into apartments where they didn't find anything because residents may have expressed a hate opinion. The German government has talked about taking driver's license away for Facebook posts. In June 20, 2017, the SS raided 36 homes across Germany, justifying it by cracking down on right-wing incitement. Given that the political spectrum is meaningless, the German government gets to decide what is right-wing extremism. But here's the problem. Jackboots are obvious authoritarianism. What's the state to do to oppress its people without it being obvious it's them doing the oppressing? Force the social media companies to do it for them. Germany passed a law saying that if Twitter, Facebook, etc. don't remove hateful or abusive social media posts, they'll be fined the equivalent of $50 million and the German chief representative in Germany personally fined $5 million. While according to the Council of Jews in Germany, because that's a thing apparently, the law is the next logical step for effectively tackling hate speech while all voluntary agreements with the platform providers have been virtually unsuccessful. Gee, I wonder why these voluntary arrangements didn't work. Maybe because they're freaking tyrannical! You're totalitarian-minded sociopaths! You are the very Nazis you want to protect women and minorities from. Your entire council, and perhaps the entire state of Germany, is the dictionary example of Sargon's Law. Meanwhile, look where else the hard-earned money stolen from honest Germans is going. Kika, a German publicly funded channel, promotes, well, this. This is where your tax dollars go, Germans, to throwing you in cages for exercising your rights. Oh, but it gets better. Want to know where else the hard-earned money of honest Germans stolen at gunpoint goes to? Es gibt noch einen anderen Namen für Gott. Allah. Sag das mal. Allah. Allah. Public television, that's not propaganda at all. Ich weiß, dass du das jetzt nicht alles verstehst, weil du noch ein Kind bist. Aber weil du ein Kind bist... Bist du auch ein Moslem? Jedes Kind ist Moslem. Doch, jedes Kind ist Moslem. Aber ich bin noch kein Moslem. Behold, this article that is clear slander against a wrong-thinking German YouTuber paid for with his own tax dollars. Bell Tower News is published by the Amadeo Antonio Foundation, founded by Anita Kahani, a former Stasi agent. One need only read their front page to see the paranoid ramblings about the right-winged right-wingers of the right-winged right-wing of the right by this propaganda. They make CNN look nonpartisan, and no, I am not exaggerating. Want to know what else is being funded with German taxpayer dollars? Antifa. I'm sure you've heard of them. Please! Stand down! Get up! Get back! Get back! <laughs> In Germany, 500 to 600 rioters burned down Hamburg during the G20 summit, turning out the biggest black bloc in history. But how did it organize like that? They were bussed in by the German government. In December 2015, TAS identified state funding and organizing for Antifa to disrupt a rally held by the Immigration Skeptic Alternative for Germany Party, or AFD. Protester was paid 25 euros an hour to attend. It's unrelated to the 2017 G20 summit, but you think they weren't receiving state funding at the time too? Especially to get that many people in place at one time? Come on, hold on a second. In 2017, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security declared Antifa to be a terrorist organization. Germany is funding Antifa. 
That makes Germany a state sponsor of terrorism. But why does any of this matter? Germany pays $29.1 billion into the EU, according to the European Commission, more than any other member state. If that isn't leverage, maybe their massive population size is. Or maybe it's the bankrolling of struggling member states like Italy or Greece, as well as the support of sycophants like Macron in France. All but guarantees German hegemony in Europe, as votes in the EU are weighted by population, given that Brexit is happening, half-assedly, Germany, Italy, France, and Greece all will make a crazy strong voting bloc. Ironic how anti-Nazis are accomplishing what Hitler's Third Reich failed to do, conquer Europe. The EU is trying to turn into a sovereign nation-state, the United States of Europe. It already has a national currency, central banking, a national capital, and is now trying to build a standing military. Such a force would undoubtedly be under the control of Germany and der Führer Merkel, which she'll use to promote the German brand of soft tyranny. Put simply, Germany will become the 21st century Soviet Union, a tyrannical and oppressive force for all who fall under Merkel's Iron Curtain. But why is this happening, you might ask? Well, in the last election, the AFD made enormous gains, rising from obscurity to the main opposition party in German parliament. Can you hear me, people of Germany? Your rights must be suppressed. Your sisters must be beaten, harassed, and molested in the streets. You yourself must be hounded by Sharia patrols and your neighborhoods burned down by Antifa. The streets must be made unsafe to travel at night. Entire neighborhoods must become no-go zones. Your culture must die. You must be propagandized to, drugged into compliance while being jailed for committing wrong think. Angela Merkel and the Christian Democrat Party needs votes. Make no mistake, the German government is a force for evil in the world. That's why I call upon the German people, GET OUT! Whatever your excuse, oh, I need to finish university, or oh, I can't leave my family. Chances are, you already know what I'm talking about, and this absolute insanity is only going to escalate until you're not allowed to leave. For God's sake, where I live, we can actually walk outside at night and have good expectations of our safety. Doesn't that sound nice? I'm not saying you have to come to the United States. Go to Switzerland, Czech Republic, Poland, Chile. I don't care. Just Get out of Germany! What do you think? Should we boycott Germany? Where do you recommend Germans fleeing Germany as refugees go? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching. Also, a big shout out to Anarchist Pineapple for helping me write this and the German subtitles.